Welcome to another Unreal Engine and Oculus Quest video. I just want to show you how to change the default and model that comes with the Unreal Engine VR platform. You can change it to anything you want to be honest. All you need is just a compatible 3D model of the object that you wish to change to. In this video, I'm going to change the default and model to the Oculus Quest controller. It is a very simple process and only requires a couple of changes in Unreal Engine. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so as more content are on the way. So I got a controller's 3D model from the Oculus developer platform using the link displayed on the screen. It points to a package called Oculus Controller Art. You can just agree to the terms and conditions and then click on download. I extracted a folder and opened it. I then navigated to Oculus Touch for Quest and Reef Test and copied a folder called Export then pasted it into the downloads folder directly. Deleted other folders in there just to make it look tidy. The export folder contains the 3D models and the materials for the Oculus Quest controller. Now if you open the Unreal Engine VR project and under the content browser, create a new folder, give it a name and then double click on it. Select the import option and import one of the 3D objects. Make sure to uncheck the skeletal mesh and the auto generate collision option before clicking on the import button. Now that we have imported the model, we need to import the material as well. So we we'll click on import and then select the material file. Double click on the controller MTL file and then connect the controller BC material to it. You can do this by dragging the material and connecting the texture sample accordingly. Save all the files and you're good to go. Now let's go back to the content folder. Open the Virtual Reality BP folder and double click on Blueprint. Click on BP Motion Controller. Here we have two main sections to focus on. One is the viewport and the other is Event Graph. Let's start with the viewport. Click on Perspective and select the option called Top. Then click on Wireframe and select the Lead option. Adjust the view with your mouse so you can see it clearly. Go back to the Content folder and open a new control folder. Drag the control L into the scene. Press enter and drag it into the motion controller folder. Select the control L object and adjust it accordingly with the rotate tool. Once this is done, click on the arc direction and move it to the center. You can do this perfectly by adjusting the Z value on the transform section on the right. Let us hide the default hand. We can do this by scrolling down on the right hand side of the page, identify the rendering section and uncheck the option called visible. Make sure to also check the hidden in game option. Now we'll move to the event graph. Move the graph to the left and identify invert scale on the hand mesh to create left hand. Drag the controller object into the graph and connect it to target. Then change the Z value to minus one. Move the graph down and identify only let add collide with the environment while gripping. Drag the controller object into the graph and connect it to the target below and also to the one above. You can now click on save and the compile option. Close the blueprint and click on the launch button to see the changes.